Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul. I'm very honored to connect with you today on this live stream. Very, very special live stream in which there will be a great deal of blessings offered that could bring significant uh, maintenance to the balance of your health, well-being, and physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. So if you just happen to cross this video, then I strongly recommend you stick around. I'm going to spend a little bit of time offering some teachings on the nature of the healing blessing that will be offered. Uh, but more importantly, not only will you be able to receive a very potent and important blessing, but you'll also be able to um, have some amazing experiences and the possibility of becoming a, uh, a divine healing hands practitioner. <coughs> okay, so excuse me for this movement in the video. I'm not supposed to jump around in a video, but it was flickering, uh, changing light. So that means I had to add more light. It still, still doesn't know what to do with it. Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. So my name is Master Paul and I am a master teacher. Uh, I've received this title after studying for nine years underneath Dr. Master Zhigong Sha, who is a beautiful uh, teacher. He is uh, uh, an amazing soul who's dedicated his life to serve humanity and he has um, uh, blessed me with tremendous wisdom that I can share with you. I've also received transmissions that allow me to be a, a practitioner that can bring balance and help, excuse me, help maintain balance in the soul, heart, mind, and body. And so it's exciting in many ways because I have this opportunity to connect with you to uh, make you more aware of the different ways in which we can maintain that higher uh, balance. Most of us find ourselves finding ourselves in places of pain emotionally, places of pain uh, physically, pa places in pain financially. We find ourselves in pain in so many areas of our life and it's not accidental. There's a lot coming at us at this point in history. There are so many things that hurt our heart just at the heart level. There are relationship pain. Um, there are pain from the people that we work with. We wish we could maybe have different people to work with. There is uh, opportunities with every one of these areas. And one of the unique things about uh, Master Shaw's wisdom and teachings is that he talks a lot about love and forgiveness. And he shares that the root cause of all the beautiful things in our happen in our life and all of the, the not so wonderful things that happen in our life, they have a root. And so when I share with you today uh, the blessings for bringing some, uh, excuse me, maintaining balance in the areas of your health and well-being of your choice, you're going to have some significant uh, shift. And so no promises, but I've been doing this long enough to know you could. So that includes if you have a physical suffering you know, pain in the neck, uh, sore knee. If you have um, something else that is out of balance that you would like a blessing towards. For all the new people, if you want to know if a pear is sweet, you have to taste it. And the best way to know if the blessing that I will offer in a little while will be of value to you is to choose something that is measurable and tangible that you can get validation instantly. So ideally you want to choose something where you're having a physical discomfort because physical discomforts are instantly measurable. You were a seven, now you're a two. You were a 10, now you're a four. These things are, uh, are validations because we are human. We need the mind to comprehend and understand that, hey, I don't know what transpired here, but I know I was this and now I'm this. That's what you get to look forward to today. For all those new people that are watching this that uh, I'm trying to encourage to stick around. So during the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes or so, I'm gonna do some explanation as to the nature of this blessing and why it works. I will then offer the blessing. It will be a long blessing. It'll be 20 minutes, okay? Most blessings do not take that long. But because uh, I wish you to be aware of the significance of, of what, it, what it is like to be a divine healing hands practitioner, 
this blessing will be offered. Now, on the call today, on the live stream, <clears throat> there are um, at least five other Divine Healing Hands practitioners. And I will uh, do a calling, if they wish, of their own accord, to utilize their transmission uh, to offer additional blessing beyond what I will be offering. And so, if they chose to, it would just be a service and they have to follow their own guidance for something like that, okay? So, that's also something you can look forward to. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and connect with everybody that's tuned in now, I acknowledge everybody, and then we'll, we'll uh, connect heart to heart, soul to soul. If you have not already, everybody, please hit your share button, let other people know about this. This today, I tell you, will be so powerful. There will be there will be shift. There will be people saying, I can't believe how much shift I had in this period of time. And you want the cl people close to you to be aware of that. You want those people you care about to have some of those benefits. Okay, so welcome CJ, welcome Dana Knapp, Aloha Kristen, welcome uh, Katina and Karen, welcome Kayla, welcome Dana uh, again. Welcome Dawn Brown. Welcome Christina Zilke. Welcome Elizabeth. Welcome Angie. And welcome Linda. Welcome Susan. Aloha, Aloha Lily. Welcome Janet Mahoney. Welcome Angie Taylor. Welcome Richard. <coughs> and Aloha Pat. Okay. And we just don't have enough people yet. We need more people. You know, when, uh, when I start the blessing, I'd love to see 35, 40, 50 people. Because, you know, if you're in the middle of the blessing and somebody comes in a half hour late, they don't understand what they're missing. They, they walk in and they go, what's going on? They just see some guy chanting with his hand in the air. So I'm going to continue to explain. Uh, and I know everybody so far that signed in is is aware of many of the things that I'll be sharing um, but it's really key um, that I repeat anyway because there are those that need to hear it again and there are those that will be watching for the very first time that need to understand the value and significance. So let us first connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Welcome Donna Bowana. Welcome Darren Beddows. <coughs> Welcome to anybody else that I have not mentioned. Let us place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, dropping our left hand in front of our heart center and our right hand gently pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes. Let us fully be present and connect. They're all beings of light serving the plan of the light side. All stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Thank you for this opportunity to serve all of those present here today. Very grateful. We ask for your presence as appropriate to please come sit in each of our heart centers, to please bless each of those individuals for their request today in whatever way is most appropriate. We ask our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints to please be present and to assist the soul that you're responsible for to awaken and release those blockages that they request, awaken them further to their soul journey and the power and significance of divine healing hands. We ask that the blessing today be significant in such a way that more souls are awakened to this service that they can receive the divine healing hands to go out and serve more people, save more lives. We're very grateful. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you to please turn on and we invite all souls in all universes to chant with us at this time in this service. For those that are new, uh, this is a blessing. Keep your eyes closed, receive everybody else. Also keep your eyes closed, join with me. Lula, 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 
Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Brenda Hutton, for sharing this video. Thank you, all the others. Uh, 14 it shows so far. I've hit the share button. Thank you for all of you for hitting your share button to let other people know about this. So this will be a divine healing hands blessing. I will initiate it in about 15 or so minutes. I'm going to spend a little bit of time explaining the divine healing hands. Now, divine healing hands is a healer transmission. It is a transmission that allows you to be a practitioner that, uh, when employed, helps maintain balance in people's soul, heart, mind, and body, in their physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, financial, relationship, or business life. Now, most modalities out there that are blessing-based, energy-based, healer-based are limited. They're limited to the physical, emotional, or mental body. One of the unique natures and features of a Divine Healing Hands practitioner is they can offer blessings for people's finances, for their own. They can offer blessings for uh, mechanical problems. There are numerous, numerous stories of people offering a Divine Healing Hands blessings for something that wasn't working mechanically. And... Uh, uh, it just resolved. It resolved quickly. Cars started when they weren't starting. Uh, washers that literally just died um, were given blessings. And the people didn't have any money for, for another washer. They needed it. They had six kids. They offered Divine Healing Hands blessing. The washer works again another six months. Blessings like this are not unusual for Divine Healing Hands practitioner. You can offer blessings for relationships. Very unusual to be able to offer a blessing for a relationship. You can offer blessings for people's businesses and finances, and of course, to maintain health and balance in, uh, in the mind and mind blockages, in emotional imbalances, and for physical. Now, this also is a very empowering tool for uh, anybody that simply just wants to take care of their loved ones. Um, you know, there's a, uh, the amount of money spent for health-related issues can be very, very high. And it's very important to, to see your doctor and to go to the hospitals as needed. But the key becomes as needed. So uh, if you have, a, if you are a Divine Healing Hands practitioner and you turn on that transmission to bless a family member and their malady, whatever it is, uh, stabilizes, then there is not a need beyond that. And so this could be a significant value for those that what's most important to them is their family. Um, there are so many ways that this uh, feature can be used. I will be using it today along with any of the other Divine Healing Hands practitioners that are currently joining to offer a blessing to all those that, that watch this. And one of the things that's happening is this video will get approximately 2,000 views over the course of the next week or two. And of those 2,000 views, maybe, I would say, maybe 200 to 400 people will actually watch the whole thing. Some of them just flip through it and watch five minutes and move on. But uh, only right now, there are 25 people live. There might be maybe 40 people live by the end of this actual live stream. So for all of those that are watching this after the fact, which would be roughly 200 of you, you're going to receive the same blessing, and you might be receiving it a day or two or three days after the recording 
pay attention to your results. You will notice that if you were a 10 before, you could be a 4 now. Choose something that is physical in nature, that is measurable. This is very key because the mind cannot comprehend an energy blessing. It does not have a grip necessarily. How do you go from, from me sitting here in Hawaii and the other, uh, other practitioners around the world offering a something you can't see and you could be anywhere between two and 10,000 miles away, you're at least 2,000 miles away from me, from Hawaii, and yet you have the potential to have any significant measurable shift one day later to a week later after a recording. How can your mind comprehend that? How can you get a blessing from a recording? It is the nature of a divine healing hand's uh, soul. It is a literally a transmission, a soul that is transmitted to you. So you'll be able to receive this blessing, but this video is being made as a calling tool to call you to consider becoming a Divine Healing Hands practitioner. Now mark this date on your calendar, May 5 and 6. If I remember it correctly, that's a Saturday and Sunday. That's when I will offer a teaching over webcast. You do not have to be in person. It's two days. It's a Saturday and Sunday. And this it will be required that you attend those two days to receive the transmission. Okay, the uh, I'll, I'll go over the costs and all that afterwards. It's actually very, very affordable when you compare it to um, uh, masseuse visits or chiropractor visits or anything like that. You can end up paying for the the honor fee for the transmission and you know five, ten visits to to one of those kinds of people. And so it's amazing the value of this and how it can impact your life very positively. So what is it? It is a, a transmission. And the transmission itself is transmitted by uh, Master Shah or one of his master teachers. There's 140 master teachers around the world. I bow my head as this teacher has given me these abilities and authorities. Um, you will have an opportunity to see if it's real and if it works today. And uh, then you'll know if this is something that has resonance with you, if there's value in it for you. Um, the transmission itself only takes one minute to transmit. You know, you just, I just do what I'm taught to do, transmit it to you. It doesn't matter if you're in person or not. It works instantly. You can apply it instantly. The, the two days are required so that you understand the deeper teachings behind it, how to offer it in the best way. Uh, and there will be, uh, there are six uh, telephone uh, teachings that you will need to attend and, uh, and one online course if, if they're going to continue maintaining that. And um, that's all included in the one-time honor fee to receive the transmission. And you can do it all remotely. You do not have to be in person to receive this. May 5, May 6, Saturday and Sunday. Make sure you make that note on your calendar. Okay. <clears throat> now, uh, so what is it? It is literally the divine's hands transmitted to your hands. So as a result, you're not the one doing the quote healing. You are simply a practitioner that is turning on something that does the work on your behalf. All you do is you say, dear my transmission, please turn on, please offer a blessing as appropriate. You will hear my verbiage when I offer this blessing in a little while and you will learn to have no attachment to the outcome because we are just the vessel. Not everyone is approved. This is something where you have to go through an approval process. It has to do with the frequency. There's a lot of us that have a desire and an intention to serve. We, 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 we want to, to do something, but we may have some significant health blockages, be it mental, emotional, physical, um, that if you were to receive this transmission, the energies associated with it could be too much for your body, physical, emotional, mental body, to handle at that moment in time. And so maybe you have to do some practices to clear things out or potentially receive some uh, blessings from a practitioner to clear out those blockages so that your vessel can handle the frequency when you receive it, okay? So you do have to be approved to become a Divine Healing Hands practitioner. And so, um, how does it work? One of the beautiful things about Master Shah, my teacher, is that in the explaining of how Divine Healing Hands 
works is he works on the simple concept that everybody who's watched him in live streams is already aware of but everybody knew I will repeat the wisdom and teachings that Master Shah shares is that uh, the result the the root cause of all of our success and all of our lack thereof all of our wonderful things that happen in our life and all the not so wonderful things that happen in our life is as a result of our spiritual virtue and our spiritual debt and so divine healing hands is a soul that has been transmitted and it is literally you become a vessel through which the divine does the blessing so that's why it doesn't really matter uh, uh, if you do it right or not it's all about the purity of your heart because if you simply get out of the way and just allow the transmission to do the work then you have the greatest possibility of bringing value to those that you offer the blessings to for example Kristen Kristen you see her posting a lot she's an amazing universal servant she received a, a divine healing hands transmission and she's offered so many blessings to so many of you and she does it from her heart It's a beautiful soul and so you might have uh, those kinds of desires also now you will have the empowerments with which to do something so it's tremendous tremendous uh, of value and the way it works is when you turn it on because it's not your transmission it's the divine's transmission the divine is is in essence forgiving through the process of offering virtue because it is the spiritual debt that brings the imbalances that show up in our life it is the spiritual debt that causes that uh, emotional suffering it is the spiritual debt that causes that physical pain it is the spiritual debt that causes those negative mindsets attitudes beliefs it is spiritual debt what is spiritual debt again doing wrong things towards others it is spiritual debt that creates our financial blockages and more and so it makes sense from a purely logical perspective that if you apply uh, virtue which is the opposite of debt virtue is is heaven's money virtue is like money on earth when you pay off a, a debt on earth you use money well heaven's money is virtue good deeds good service so because you are the recipient of the divine's healing hands you turn it on the divine does the work the amount of, of spiritual virtue that is offered is not up to you it's up to the divine you're just the one that's offering the service and so the percentage of success is also not up to you it's up to the divine how does the divine decide today you will receive value from this the measurement is up to you if you choose especially if you're new if you choose something that's measurable uh, which typically can be you know if you're in a significant emotional place you can request something measurable but also you can request something physical then you'll have a measurement if you went from a 10 to an 8 then you can't say it didn't work other people might go from a 10 to a 0 why did it work better for them but not so good for you this will happen at the end of this I will ask all of those to report in I will ask you to measure I will ask you to report and you will read people's experiences my number was before requested this condition this is my number now and you will see a variety of answers why does it vary for person to person because each individual has their own levels of spiritual debt associated with what they asked for if you ask for example financial blessings um, you may notice no difference but three days from now you might find ten dollar bill on the ground you might have uh, somebody send you money out of nowhere you might find that uh, um, you find a couple of parking spaces they give a couple of dollars here and there these are all financial blessings and so a lot of it is perspective and attitude as well um, so how it works is offsetting the spiritual debt which is the culprit that brings our suffering with spiritual virtue so as a divine healing hands practitioner you have the very very unique exceedingly unique um, empowerment to offer blessings what do you receive when you become a divine healing hands practitioner four things these are extraordinary I got to tell you guys extraordinary 
Unlike other modalities that you may choose to do or follow, this works at peak efficiency, at peak power, instantly. The only thing that makes it work better is more purity of heart. So the more forgiveness practice you do, the more love and unconditional service you offer, um, then your heart becomes more and more pure. That means the efficacy of the transmission is higher. The frequency that comes through can then be a higher frequency because this transmission comes to, yes, the divine is doing it, but he's using your physical vessel as the vessel through which the light and frequency comes through. And so you have to be self-responsible for your own purity if you would like higher level blessings to come through. The transmission has four uh, uh, orders that are given when it comes to you. The first one is the transmission itself for to become a divine healing hands practitioner. When that occurs, that the amount of, of, of light that comes in is so significant that instantly a great deal of blockages in your heart center and in your body have to go. They simply can't stand being around the light. And so it's like a mini cleansing of the spiritual debts when you get that. When I say mini, uh, it might take you 100 lifetimes to accomplish that, but it's not as big as some of them that are available. You receive that. The second thing that you receive is what's called a uh, light wall protection. The light wall protection is exceedingly important. When Master Shah received this uh, ability to transmit, he had to go through a great deal of suffering and becoming a better universal servant before he was interested with these kinds of, of, of transmissions and abilities. Uh, I don't even have time to go through all the suffering he went through to prove his, his service to humanity before he was given the authorities to transmit these. And then, and since, being able to transmit those authorities to master teachers like myself. And so, um, in the uh, receiving, you receive a light wall protection. Now, why do we receive a light wall protection as a practitioner? Because those that we are serving, be it our children, our parents, loved ones, co-workers, whoever it is we're serving, have spiritual debt. Today, the blessing will help offset some of your spiritual debt. You likely will notice some measurable shift. That debt was not caused by me. It was not caused by my teacher. It was not caused by God. It was not caused by anybody except you or your ancestors. And that's why you have that form of unpleasantness occurring in your life. So, when a blessing is offered, those that were harmed those that were not happy uh, about some of the actions, thoughts, words, or actions that were predicated against them, those are the ones that are trying to remind you. They're going, hey, you know, you really hurt us. You did this and this and that financially to my family. You did these unpleasant things to us. We want you to have some unpleasant experiences so that you take responsibility, so that you become compassionate, so that you become respectful and responsible. We want you to wake up and make better choices. That's why we're reminding you with this unpleasantness. So when, when we as a, as, a, as a practitioner offer blessings, we are uh, asking the divine to offset that debt. Some of those souls that have been negatively impacted might not be too thrilled about that. And so there is a possibility that that uh, unpleasantness could come to the one offering the blessing. And so that's why we need a light wall protection. Okay, so this is not just something like, you know, there are all the lights around me. No, this is automatic. It's turned on 24 seven. It's there and it works. It assists you in things like potential car accidents. You might have the accident, but instead of a severe neck injury, you might have just a little crick in the neck for a day or two. Uh, it could completely cause one to not happen. This is the power of a real light wall protection. It also comes with another transmission called protection against communicable diseases and natural disasters. Now this is priceless. 
who wouldn't want protection against communicable diseases and natural disasters? What does that mean? That means because it is a divine transmission, that means that you are not in charge of your life. You know, the, our life is not controlled by us, guys. It's controlled by heaven. And so heaven will give a transmission that opens up your record in heaven, puts a stamp on your record that says, this one needs to stick around. We need them to save lives. We need them to help people if there are conditions moving forward in the world with significant communicable diseases. We need them if there are natural disasters. We can't have them leaving Mother Earth during those times. That's why they were chosen to receive the transmission, so that they can be of benefit to humanity. So that's uh, literally on the record in heaven, so that you can remain to serve others. The final transmission that you would receive if you were approved to receive this is the um, transmission for a divine pendulum. Now most of us seen a pendulum, we do like this, and the pendulum goes back and forth, and it helps the person make a yes or a no. This is called a divine pendulum. Literally, you receive it inside your body. And one of the things that happens, one of the many things that happens in that two-day training, May 5 and May 6, <clears throat> is that you will have, let me get some water, practice how to get your yes or your no. Your body can tell you yes or no, but you have to practice to listen to it. Why is that necessary? Because we don't haphazardly offer blessings to anybody and everybody. If someone's in a coma, that means that their spiritual debt could be very, very heavy. That means that we might not want to mess with that. We might want to check, is it okay if I offer a blessing? We might get a no, it's not okay. And so the pendulum assists us to not make mistakes. Also, it assists us with how many times we need to offer a blessing. Sometimes a person needs one, two, three blessings for 15 minutes each. We use the pendulum to discern this information. So these are the things that you receive with the, with the divine healing hands. The honor fee, it's called honor fee because it is an honor to be one of those that is approved to receive this transmission so that you can be a better servant for your, lo your loved ones, your family members, and all those around you that might be needing it in those times where it could be important. It is an honor to carry the Divine's healing hands transmitted to you. And so the honor fee for the two days of training, the teleclasses, the online course, uh, and the transmission, all the protection packages is 625 US dollars. That's about 10 chiropractor sessions, seven massage sessions, nothing. And it's yours permanently. You can use it for yourself or others. So now that you know what it is, now I'm going to uh, initiate a blessing for everybody that is watching this video. Um, and <clears throat> When you go to receive this, I'm going to ask, uh, I will ask eventually all the other Divine Healing Hands healers if they desire. They can turn on their uh, treasures and offer theirs in concordance with mine. Um, but I'm going to ask you now to choose something. Choose something that is measurable as much as possible. Uh, if it's a physical, then uh, choose an area that that you can cause a little bit more uh, discomfort by movement. In other words, if it's your back, lean to one side or the other and see if that threshold goes up. Pick the number that the discomfort is, okay? Now, sometimes as you're doing that, uh, pay attention, <clears throat> uh, sometimes when a blessing is offered, it simply uh, goes in and then the subject matter comes back. What that means is that the spiritual debt is higher than one blessing can accomplish, and it might even require a much higher transmission, which you'd have to see a master teacher like myself. There are different levels of healer transmission, of practitioner transmission, and although this is considered entry level, uh, it is by no stretch of the imagined baby stuff. Um, it, it has created many, many miracles. But um, there are higher levels that someone like myself who has done nine years 
of purification practices and earn the right to receive higher levels, uh, they have the opportunity to clear those. Those are called healing and transmission systems, and they come with light wall protections for that condition. So if you're one of those that is having difficulty and nothing seems to be working, that might be the solution for you. Okay, choose your area. You can choose an organ. You can choose a system. You can choose a body part. That's always good when it comes to a measurement. You can choose an emotional, if that's really what, what you really need the most. Um, if you're exceedingly negative, like measurably negative, okay. I would suggest don't choose finances, although uh, it's, it's, you can. Uh, and if you're having significant blockages with work, finding a job, or uh, uh, um, a relationship with somebody at work that you really, really, you just, it's, it's the core of a great deal of stress for you, okay, you can choose that if that's what you need to choose. These are examples, okay? That's the beauty about Divine Healing Hands is there's truly no limitations to the blessings it can offer. So I will give you 30 more seconds to make that choice. You don't need to write it down. But what I want you to do is I want you to measure it. Give it on a 10 scale, the measurement of discomfort, okay? Because after the blessing, I will ask you to write what your experiences were. If it's neck pain, how far can you turn your neck? If it's knee pain, where does the discomfort show up? If it's back pain, where does this discomfort show up? Can you make it more discomfortable if you lean a certain way, if you turn a certain way? How much flexibility do you have in that body part that you might be asking for, okay? And remember, many of you watching now are watching for the first time because this is a recording. This was recorded on, um, uh, what's today? Today is the, I don't even know what day of the month it is. <clears throat> um, it is a... Uh, Monday. I know that much. That's good. And uh, I believe it's the second or third, but it's a Monday. So if it's not Monday and you're watching this, then how many days went by? Pay attention to the results. How is it possible that a blessing can come two, three, four, five days later on a video and still work? It is the nature and the power of a soul healing transmission because it's connected to our beloved Creator. Because Creator is not limited by time and space. Creator cares not about all of our blockages around time and space. It can offer the blessing whenever it is requested. Okay? That's why it will work. All right. Everyone's complete with their request. Now, to initiate the highest and best results, best to sit up straight with your back away from the back of the chair. Why? Because then the light and the energy can flow appropriately. Best to either sit in lotus and or feet flat on the floor. Relax, relax your shoulders, relax your entire body. Touch your tongue gently to the roof of your mouth. Touch it near the front of your teeth. It should be a very relaxed, natural posture. Keep your thoughts, keep your breath in your lower abdomen. Bring your breath down there. Bring your thought down there. You'll continue to breathe in your lower abdomen the entire time. You can choose, even though your thought and your breath are in your lower abdomen, you can gently see golden or rainbow light in the area of your request. If it's uh, anything other than an obvious physical part of the body in location, then simply see the golden light in the heart center. If uh, it's for something outside of you, like a relationship or business or something like that, see golden light surrounding that relationship, okay? Or that business or whatever it might be. Prepare. The uh, visualization I just gave you, the sound power, will be, I'll be doing that. <clears throat> Soul power. Dear the Divine Healing Hands practitioners that wish to offer their blessings at this time, Please go through your protocol now to turn on your transmission.
Pao. Divine Healing Hands tra uh, Transmission. Turn on. Offer blessings as appropriately for the next, we're just going to do 15 minutes since we have other healers. For the next 15 minutes, transmission, blessing, begin. You may receive, you may chant, you may quietly receive and enjoy the mantra. I will be chanting love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li, Lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Oh, I was in the Oh, I turned red lay. Long living her mushroom. Song I ping on a say, Song I ping on a say. And if you can see me, then your eyes are not closed. It helps to close your eyes to completely receive the greatest benefits. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> Eloha my. Iau, Eloha kakoa pau, Epihili mai, Puvai kakao, Aloha malie lo kai, Aloha malie lo kai. Kokuro to tamashi wo ashi teru Jinrui subite wo ashi teru Kokuro to tamashi wo hitotsu ni shio Ai hei wa soshite cho wa Ai hei wa so she chowa. That was Japanese. This is Thai. Chanra kwa jai legit vinyar. See the light. Chanra kwa jai legit vinyar. Ruan kwa jai legit vinyar. Kao do I go? Raksandesu. Let Sarma ki Raksandesu Let Sarma ki Lula Lula Li Lula Lula La Li Lula La li lu la lu la ha li lu la lu la li lu la. Wo ai wo shen er ling wo ai tu ren ren lei. Wang Ling Rung 
儿暮时生，双爱平安和谐，双爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. <coughs> Eloha, my yahu. Eloha kakoa pau, e pili mai buvai kakao, aloha malielo kahi, aloha malielo kahi. Kokoro to tamashi wo ashiteru, jinrui subite wo ashiteru. Kokoro to tamashi wo hitotsu ni shiyo. Ai hei wa soshite chou wa. I hei wa so shite chou wa. Chanra kwa jai le chit vin yarn. Chanra kumuan man nu char. Muan kwa jai le chit vin yarn. Kau du ai gon. Rak san de su. Let Sarma ki raksan desu. Let Sarma ki. And silently or out loud, wherever you're at, repeat this forgiveness practice. Dear all souls, that I or my ancestors may have brought harm or suffering to. In any time, I sincerely apologize. I do not wish to harm any souls, and I recognize that I have areas in my life where I am suffering, and that means that I may, or my ancestors may have brought harm or suffering to others. I wish to sincerely apologize. For anything that we may have done that has caused you suffering, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, in finances, in relationships, or more. For all of those souls that I may have harmed. For the same condition that I have requested, I sincerely apologize. So think about it. If you have requested for your neck, or a body part, or a relationship, then that means you have spiritual debt. So continue. To all the souls, if I have caused you suffering, for this same condition that I have experienced suffering in. I now know how much you must have experienced. I now know the pain of suffering you must have experienced, because I know how just uncomfortable it is for me. And if I or my ancestors have brought this form of suffering to you, in any time, I sincerely, most humbly, ask for your forgiveness. I deeply apologize. I know that to apologize is not enough. 
that I must serve others and help them to be happier and healthier to help offset this debt to you. I offer you my unconditional forgiveness for any time that you may have brought harm to me and release you of any spiritual debt that you may have to me. Let us move forward in love, peace, and harmony. Continue to chant and now send your love and light also to those souls that you or your ancestors may have harmed because they have brought this suffering to you. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xin er ling, wo ai trum ran le, ang ling rong er mu shi shang, shuang ai ping an er xie, shuang ai ping an er xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Elo ho amai au, elo ha kako apau, e pili mai puvai kakao, aloha mali elo kahi, aloha. Malie lo kahi Kokuro to tamashi wo ashi teru Jinrui subite wo ashi teru Kokuro to tamashi wo hitotsu ni shio Ai hei wa so she I hewa so she Chandra kwa jai legit vinyarn Chandra muan manu chan kwa jai legit vinyarn kaudu ai Araksan de sut let sar maki. Araksan de sut let sar maki. Visualizing the incredible light surrounding your area. Be very grateful. Thank you to all the souls that are accepting the virtue. Thank you to all of those souls that have been harmed that are agreeing to release this spiritual debt. Thank you for the opportunity to recognize the errors that have been made for this area of suffering. Thank you for the opportunity to do a true forgiveness practice. Thank you to Divine Healing Hands and the Divine for Master Shah and his service to humanity. Thank you for the opportunity to be one who may be approved to be 
a Divine Healing Hands practitioner. Thank you for the opportunity to awaken to more to my soul journey, that I can be a better servant, that I could be a practitioner and have this transmission, that I could bless my children, that I could bless my colleagues, that I could bless those who are emotionally or mentally suffering. Thank you for the opportunity that I could have this transmission to bless my relationships and finances. I am very grateful for this opportunity. And so everybody, if it is comfortable for you, bow your head nine times to your beloved Creator and all of those that you align with that you feel are assisting you right now on your journey. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I am physically sweating, have been for about 10 minutes now. Um, that was very, very potent. There was a lot of uh, blessings coming from different practitioners. <clears throat> so thank you to all those practitioners. Healing treasures, please return. And so for those, uh, whether this is in the future or live now, please uh, comment on your experience. This was what I asked for. I want to know, what did you ask for? I asked for this. This is what the number was before. This is what my number is now. It's okay if it's zero. I want to see that too. I have no attachments. I'm not doing the blessings anyway. Honesty is very important. You have to ask yourself if there is no result, uh, and it was something that is measurable in this moment, if there is no result, then the question becomes why? We want to look at the nature of that why, because it usually boils back to that the spiritual debt is higher and you need to do far more forgiveness practice. You could of course choose to receive a higher transmission blessing that could assist you, but regardless, you will still need to do greater forgiveness practice. So I will wait while you do your sharing. Um, this is something that, as I said, has to be approved, but um, it is something that it's really a much bigger calling. Uh, you know, most of the people when they when they decide to become a divine healing hands practitioner, it's typically because they have received one or more blessings that have worked and it has brought change to their life, and they are moved by the nature of the wisdom, the teachings and by the nature of, of the um, results. And then they start getting better, 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 and they realize that they can help other people. They already have a nurturing heart. I can't tell you how many people have a nurturing, helping heart, and they're using uh, other modalities that are effective, but they're also getting attacked. They're, they're um, unable to sustain the degree of efficacy because they are offsetting a spiritual debt that maybe they're not supposed to be. Whereas when we receive this kind of transmission, what happens is we receive, we're not doing it, we're, we're, uh, 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 the Divine's doing it, the transmission is something that Divine's working with, and so they're the ones deciding, not us. <clears throat> and um, because we have no attachment to the outcome, because we don't bring our ego to the table, um, and because we have a light wall protection, then we don't get any of that stuff on us, so to speak. And so, uh, and not to mention it protects us from all these other things I mentioned. So it's truly a remarkable, remarkable opportunity if, um, if you are one of those that, uh, you know, is approved to receive it. So I will be offering the two-day <coughs> uh, online course. Everything is online. You don't have to be in person. You can receive the transmission remotely as well. It works just fine. Um, and you can, you can, uh, uh, the honor fee is 625, May 5 and 6. So that's roughly all of, all of March, all of April. Uh, you have eight weeks to, to locate that. And what my suggestion, dear God, this connects to me. This is, this is if you're interested. This really, really connects to my heart. I want to be able to serve people in this way. Please, please, please bring this money to me as quickly as possible. If God fills your heart, money will come. 100% promise you that. 
Um, I've had it happen to me multiple times, so I say that with confidence. Um, so that's another way in which you can receive it. Okay. And so I see some comments here. Uh, thank you, Kristen, and uh, um, all of the Divine Healing Hands healers, practitioners that offered their blessings uh, along with me. I know that Chris, both Kristen served in this way. I'm sure others did. <clears throat> um, Brenda says, I can't stop crying. Wow, help with my rare liver disease. Yes, Brenda, you may want to connect with me on this. A, um, a healing and transmission system would probably serve you well. It's substantially more impactful than this. Um, so please check with me privately. Uh, message me. I'll give you more information on that. Susan says, wow, I asked for help with my pain in my back and stomach. It was at least an eight and now it's a two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So what, who do we say thank you to? Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you to all the beings of light that offered their service here today. The, 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 the practitioner never takes the, the thank you. Uh, we always give it to the source credit. Um, Brenda says she feels this is for her. Wonderful. Uh, Melissa, Dianette, welcome Melissa. I haven't seen you here before. Congratulations, welcome for coming. Um, I asked for a, a self-love blessing. I was a five right now, not sure, okay. But she did feel a sensation and tingling at the top of her head. Okay, let me offer a slow reading for you, Melissa. For our beloved Melissa. She has a heart of service, especially for children and animals and her significant other. However, there are pains that reside at the level of the heart center from being hurt, both in relationship and familially. These have kept her from having the judgment-free, guilt-free conditions she would enjoy. This blessing assisted her in releasing many of these blockages, and she should notice great, greater compassion for those that previously there had been unspoken judgments and criticisms. She is very blessed on this day. How? So it gives you an idea of some of the things that are happening in the background. Zilke says, I saw a web of light around uh, her body and the world, and she feels more light in the body, her arms, her shoulders, and lungs much more open. Okay. Kayla had a headache. It was an eight. It's now down to a two. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nina says, tears. Brenda, I'm throwing it out to the universe. I need these funds. Uh, use a little uh, more purity in your language, Brenda, and do a forgiveness practice for all those that are truly serious. Um, it's important to recognize that <clears throat> if we are aware and here watching this, we have been on this path before. That means we have been practitioners of the healing arts at some point in our life. That also means that we may have made very good service to others and we may have misused some of our wisdom, our spiritual teachings, or our service. We could have done it for manipulating excess money out of people. Money is great. You should receive money for your services. But if we do it inappropriately for greed, we generate spiritual debt this way. So do a forgiveness practice with your Creator about any times you've made inappropriate choices on the spiritual path, including any greed uh, uh, conditions, um, wrong teaching conditions. And then from a pure heart, ask the Divine, tell them that if I, I can receive these financial blessings uh, before Master Paul's teachings, May 5 and May 6, then I would be most honored, I promise Divine, that I will serve humanity with his divine healing hands, that I will serve others and make them happier and healthier. That's what the Creator wants to hear. Money will come. Okay, Terry Blade says, I became pulsating in her head. Also, um, uh, 
through the uh, prayer. I had a grasp for a breath. Uh, went from a 10 to a 6. Also saw mountain clouds and geometric symbols. Great. CJ says, so grateful for your blessings into the divine healing hands. It's a zero now for the, cause the sign I've been asking for for a couple of days bothering me has been revealed. Okay. I'm so happy it was open more fully. Kayla says, thank you. Thank you, Janet. I saw yellow orbs of light moving outwards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Terry Blades is crying also. Anne-Marie, I was able to join midway through. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Zoki says, saw some huge black stones. Um, Terry Blades asked for her daughter's recovery from herself. Um, you should have her watch this uh, blessing. Karen, thank you, Master Paul. Love to be Healing Hands practitioner. Might have to do more work. Anne-Marie, glad you made it. Okay. Donna Boana asked for help with her jaw. It was a six. Now it's a one. Wonderful, Donna. Thank you for sharing. Linda Jansen what, had a backache. It was a six. Now it's a three. Renee, oh boy, too late. Have to watch it later. You're very welcome, everybody. Uh, Dawn, she's having a, a vice feeling around her head. A vice feeling like a vice grip. And brought to tears from the pain she had caused others. Okay. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for your sharing. So again, if you have not yet hit the share button, please do so. Let other people know about this. This is one of the more important ones. Um, you might know of other... Uh, uh, people that are in professions, acupuncturists, chiropractors, people that have hearts of service already because they're healing those outside of them, some in professions, some not. And this is very often ideal for them because of the protection provided. And when they're doing their, their uh, related services, they can turn on the divine healing hands and ask it to serve as appropriate to create results in addition to the service they're already doing. And we have many, many professional practitioners that employ it that way with far superior results than doing it by itself. Masseuse, same thing, doesn't matter. We have seen many, 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 many results. Nina, I hear you comment many times on serving those others uh, that are in the social work area. This is ideal for somebody like you because you're in such an, an unpleasant emotional environment you need this protection and any clients any of the people that you sit in front of as a social worker you could literally use your divine healing hands and offer blessings as appropriate to to um, bring resolve if you will to whatever trauma is happening at those times so there could be significant value to you and so Nina says her right arm and shoulder hurts from using a computer for work. It was an eight, now it's a four. Wonderful. Thank you, Emma, also. So you've received the calling. Uh, if you're interested in Divine Healing Hands, please uh, email me at asoulhealer at yahoo.com or Facebook message me. You can call me, 808-469-6199. Uh, please text me first. I don't, I'm not always able to answer the phone immediately. Um, let me know you're going to call me and then I can tell you if I have that time. But I will check guidance, make sure that it's something you can be approved for. And then you have uh, uh, eight to nine weeks to prepare for, for that uh, upcoming opportunity. Okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Divine Tao Source, all beings of light. Thank you, our Divine Healing Hands Healer Transmission. Thank you to all the beings of light who came. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.